Now, there are times where you just want to make a simple straight cut with a circular saw, but you can't afford any of those fancy track saws. Do you ever get tired of having to measure your saw just to see how far you need to be from the line with your straight edge, only to find that you measure it once, then you measure it again, and you measure it a third time, and it keeps moving on you? And when you finally get it in place, you clamp it, and you are ready to go. And then you start cutting and noticing something halfway through. Something seems a little off. You take it to only find out you missed your line. Doesn't that frustrate you? Hi guys, how y'all doing? It's Julian with 5x30. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of making a circular saw guide. It's very accurate. It's very cheap. Uh, you can pick up the most, of, most stuff you need right at the home store. So, stick around, let's get to it. All right, y'all. All you're gonna need is a circular saw, a tape measure, a pencil, a straight edge, some wood glue, some screws, a drill, some clamps, and some board, either MDF or plywood would do. You do need something that has a factory edge because it's gonna be the straightest edge that you're gonna get and that's gonna be your true, your true edge. This I have is a half inch M piece of MDF, and this is one eighth piece MDF. Both of these I got for free, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, let me show you how to do it. So first off, I'm just measuring halfway through because I'm going to make two out of this. I would go with four inches for simple fact is you want to make sure you have clearance for any kind of clamps for when you're clamping down. Now, as soon as you get done cutting it, make sure you mark with X's the side that you cut. That way you can discern between the factory side and the cut side. When you get ready to glue this up, do not over glue it. Any squeeze out on the factory side will affect your cut. When you go to glue this down, make sure that the factory side is out towards the board. The cut side can go towards the very back flush as, flush as you can. When you go to go ahead and clamp this up, and as soon as you clamp it up, make sure you clean up any squeeze out that is on the factory side. All right, guys, while we're waiting up for the glue to dry up, what I want to do here is finally made my sticker board because we've got stickers coming in already. And I like it. Uh, I should have mine hopefully up this coming Friday. It is Wednesday. Hopefully I should have them ordered Friday. So it's going to take about a week after that and I can get them in. So then I'll be sending them out. So I got a couple, I've got about four of them that just came in this week. And I just want to say thank you to a couple of them as I put them up on the board. We have Ben from Black Mountain Woodworking. Awesome guy. Yeah, he, uh, he does a lot of great pallet work. You should definitely check him out on Instagram. It's uh, Black Mountain Woodworking. I'll, I'll put the link in there. You got a YouTuber and also, a, uh, also an Instagrammer, Mike. He does a lot of great things. I'm actually going to be looking more towards his stuff coming up soon yeah he's going to be doing a lot of stuff dealing with uh, uh, shop organization and building some organiz organizing things for the shop and you can't really tell in the shop small organization space is what I need so I'll be doing some a lot of organizing and building some organizational things so get things cleaned up uh, we have Scott over at Cutthroat Woodworkings he's, uh, he's, he's on Instagram as well He's got a lot of good things too. He's he's up and coming. He's got a lot of good things, a lot of followers. Go check him out if you're not. And another guy, Matt, Matt Plume from Got Wood. This guy's helped me out with a lot of things. You should check him out. He's got some awesome stuff. Uh, he's got some killer wood burning stuff. He's got an Etsy shop. You should definitely go check him out. If you have any questions on stuff, he's always willing to help out. So check him out. I'll be putting posting theirs up on the page here so you'll see them. Uh, and let's get to putting them on the sticker board. Now once the glue is dried, go ahead and unclamp it. And then what you're going to do is clamp it down to the surface. 
go ahead and take your circular saw and put it flush against the factory edge and go ahead and cut away. Make sure you are straight the whole way through. Now, as of right now, you're done. That's all you have to do. You can hold it down with glue. That's all you really need. Me, I have a Texas way of doing things. I like to make sure, basically my little motto is, I build things to withstand a tornado. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a couple of screws just for security, just to make sure it holds and it never comes out. And if it does, well, it's not gonna be any good anyways. So let me do that real quick. All right, y'all, you're done. It's very easy, very cheap. Doesn't take long to do it all. Um, the only thing I would do different if I were to go out and get the board myself, which I didn't explain in the beginning, I would have gotten quarter inch all around. I would have gotten one piece, uh, maybe a, depending on how long you want to do it for. I have a, a three foot one that I made out of the same materials. Uh, I'd get a two by four sheet of a uh, quarter inch MDF and make it all out of that. This is a little thick for me, but like I said, it's free. I'm gonna work with what I have. You can get MDF or like I said, plywood. The main thing is this line right here, this guy right here, has to be a factory 100% straight edge. This doesn't really matter how you cut that, but this has to be because that right there determines your, your straight angle here. But now all you have to do is to line up your cut, mark it on one side, line it up here and here, boom. Clamp down, saw away. Quick and easy. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps other people out. Um, again, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe. If there's anything you need to know, let me know. Just message me. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. It's 5x30 or 5x30 woodworking on Instagram. Uh, I should be hopefully having an Etsy shop soon. And I hope to soon be making more items for you guys. Trying to keep things on a budget, easy, quick. And uh, put your boots on and build stuff. Take care. Hold on. One last thing. I want to mention uh, Eric Deemer from Deemer Designs. He's been a big help to me. He's uh, kept me going on my video. Uh, the two videos I've done so far. He's helped me figure out how to edit them what I should use, everything I should do. He's a he's a great guy. I mean, again, he's from Texas, so what do you expect? You should give him a follow on Instagram. It's uh, Deemer Designs. I'll leave a link or I'll leave the uh, thing right here. Uh, if you want to go ahead and follow him, he's also got a YouTube page. Uh, he's got two things out, or three things out, I believe, right now. Uh, one he just finished the other day, something for his uh, dog who passed away, Penny. It's a it's kind of emotional. It's a good it's a good it's a good build. Definitely check him out. All right. Get out there guys.